patient in Alaya Care. After the service coordinator verify patient start of care details, we have to add the patient to the electronic health record or Alaya Care for our records, add the service, schedule a visit, and documentation of the visit from the nurses. Here are the step-by-step -step process. First click on the left sidebar clients. Then click new client and will pop up window will show. Input basic info of the patient. First name last name and phone number then click add new client. Once we staff the cases from the vendors we are receiving patients demographics and after the service coordinator verifies the patient details we input them in patient demographics in Alayacare such as. Patient name. Address and zip code. Phone number. Medical records number. Date of birth. From patient demographics file we have to input the important details. In client registration number we will put the MRN number or medical records number. It's a six digit number and will be found on patient demographics file. Next is the contact info section. By adding the patient confirmed address and zip code and we can input an additional number to reach the patient slash guardian easily. In medical slash clinical info, select pharmacy and click which vendor the patient we accepted. Lastly additional info. Input the gender and birthday of the patient then click save. Once we created a file we can create slash add the service and schedule a visit. After the profile is created a client status to go from pending to active, they must have at least one service entered on their profiles. Go to care management and create a service. To create a service for a client, you first need a service code which services the nurse will do during the visit. Example, start of care, SOC, or lab and dressing change. Then enter the start date and projected end date. Primary employee. Enter the name of the employee you wish to set as the primary employee for the service. Adding a form to a service. In the resulting dialog box, click under forms to select the form you wish to attach to the service. All active forms will be available for selection and click next. Enter the service code in the resulting dialog box. Under start of care select first 2 hours and other service is hourly, click next. Enter any additional information about the service. Always select the following billing details. Billable using, single program. Funder methodology, single payer. Billing frequency, calendar month. And lastly, payer which the patient is currently under the care of the vendor. Schedule visit. In a client profile, view the client slash patient calendar with details about past and upcoming visits. To view a client schedule, navigate to the schedule tab within a client profile. Select the dates to schedule a visit. After selecting the date it will auto-populate the client details then choose which service. Note, if the client visit will reassigned we have to enter the new employee slash nurse. Enter the time of the visit and create a visit. Once we create a schedule the status will show. By checking the status of the visit we can check if there is a missed visit or cancelled. Visit confirmation. Always search on clinical notes email slash care schedule if visit was done for that week you are following up, check on SOC list or DWO when labs are ordered on specific day, and check your elevation email if there are extension orders, DC slash line removal orders, or one-time visit only. If clinical notes were already sent, use searching on clinical notes email to confirm that a visit was made. Also, call the patient for confirmation and feedback. If the patient verbalized understanding of medication administration teaching, we can ask them if they remember the infusion nurse's name.